<laughs> That's a great question. Hi, Charles. Is there any concern or was there prior consideration concerning a possible perceived opinion of Burundi having a negative impact on Cardano? Is that why there's uh, only an MOU? Well, you always start with an MOU when you build a relationship. And then from the MOU, you build a permanent contractual relationship. A BDG to C play takes three to seven years to do. Uh, and it depends on the nature of the country. There usually needs to be regulatory reform, a lot of modernization and updates, and boatloads of education just to get to a point where you can deploy something. Guys, I don't care about Burundi, the nation state. The leaders there, they're selected by the people. The people will hold them accountable. I care about the people of Burundi. Those are the people that matter. Just like I care, I don't care about the U.S. government. Who cares about Biden and let's go Brandon and all this stuff? Uh, it doesn't matter. What matters is the American people, okay? The people of Germany, the people of the UK. And you ask yourself, are they living well? Are they living the lives they want to live? And are their children going to have the same level of prosperity, more or less? And is what they're doing sustainable? There are 12 million people in Burundi, and uh, there's a lot of beauty there, an incredible culture there that goes back centuries. There's also a lot of dark history of people being victimized, abused, especially by colonial powers. And the people there deserve more and better. And it looks like this government in particular is an ally to that process of improving the human condition. Some governments aren't. For example, the government of North Korea is not, in my view, an ally to its people. It's a cult of personality to aggrandize a singular person, Kim Jong-un. Every single thing they do is for his benefit at the expense of the people. Some governments do that. Dictators usually do that. And other governments, they want more. They want better. They want to improve the human condition. And they fight hard for it. Now, sometimes they don't get it right. Sometimes they waste resources. There's always divergent opinions, uh, different systems. But at least the desire is there, and they seem to be a willing partner in that. Blockchain, e-governance, these are tools. They're not the only tools. Education is a tool. Improvements in healthcare is a tool. Improvements in water quality is a tool. Supply chain infrastructure for safe food is a tool. Building credible, free, and fair open marketplaces are tools. Sustainable practices in business and in agriculture are tools. Connectivity is a tool. Electrification is a tool. Now, each and every one of us, we have our parts to play in that symphony. And if we all play together, you have a beautiful symphony, and the human condition improves. Uh, so I like to believe in the better angels of our nature. I like to believe that people want to be free, and people want things to improve. And if invited by a head of state, I will come. And I'll sit down with them, look them in the eyes, and talk to them, and to his ministers, and talk to the people in the streets, and ask them, well, what do you want? And we'll offer, as we say, this whole tour, it's been nothing but learn, listen, and assist in a digital transformation for the benefit of the people of the nations. So that's what we're doing. We're learning about the particular problems. Every country is different. Zanzibar cares a hell of a lot about the blue economy. South Africa cares a lot about different things, especially social injustice at the moment. That's why they have this BE structuring stuff. Burundi has basic infrastructure that needs to be rolled out. And if it's done correctly, it can make them one of the most competitive of all the African nations. Ethiopia has the great deregulation, where they're changing the system from a very old broken one to a new one. And they're trying to figure a way how to do that while preserving over 2,000 years of history and 120 million people's entrenched interests. Kenya has different concerns. Egypt has different concerns. Every place I go, I listen. We learn, and then we ask them, how can we assist you? And we can be a partner in that respect. And it might take years. It might take decades. But what else am I going to do with my life? Honestly, what else could I do with my life that uh, is, is any more meaningful and better? Because if we pull this off, what it means is you elevate millions to tens of millions to hundreds of millions of people out of poverty, and you give them a better life than the one that they had before. That's a win for me. And I can't imagine why anybody would wake up and say that's not a life well spent. 